Bell. You're one of the Bay Constables here in the town of North Hempstead. And I wanted to ask you a little bit about some of the transient moorings that North Hempstead offers to people who come and visit. Can you tell me a little bit about, about that? Sure. The town uh, has 20 transient moorings. They contract with uh, Myron Marine, the Port Water Taxi, to maintain those moorings. The moorings are provided so people can come to the town tie up for free for 48 hours, come to the town dock via the water taxi or their own dinghies, tie up and enjoy the, the beautiful Port Washington area. And you said that there are 20 of them. Do you find that they're often filled to capacity? Is there a high demand for this? On the weekends and holidays, there is a high demand. I have seen them full. Uh, they don't fill up all the time. They're on a first come, first serve basis. And if there's any confusion, they're, they're yellow in color, so we were able to direct people to them. And we'll go out, uh, the Bay Constables will go out, introduce themselves, uh, tell the people the parameters of the moorings. Port Water Taxi is all, also authorized to do that. And we'll let them know, you know, what they could do once they get up into town and where Town Dock is and West Marine, the restaurants, supermarkets, laundry the library for internet access if they can't get it elsewhere. That's great. Uh, well, we encourage people to come in and spend some time here in Port Washington. And certainly the use of the transient moorings is one of the ways that they can come about and visit. It so, absolutely is. The transient moorings are wonderful. We meet a variety of people from all over the world who use these moorings. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Sailing Center and we actually have a sailboat right behind us and we're going to learn a little bit about what it's like to go out on the sailboat and some of the services that you offer through the center. How are you well, doing? Good. Um, Port Sailing is celebrating 10 years in business now and uh, we have a fleet of 11 boats out here on Manhasset Bay. We teach adult classes on weekends which is quite a lot of fun. Over the three-day period people with no knowledge at all come in learn to sail and then we rent the boats that they uh, sail on. We're also affiliated with the American Sailing Association. They provide our curriculum, and we're one of 150 locations that provide this service of renting boats and teaching sailing. Um, we have a children's program as well in the summertime that kicks off the end of June. We'll have about 110 kids coming through the sailing school learning to sail this summer. So that's a lot of activity. We employ about 23 people in season, and then four of us work year-round here. In um, addition to that, we do Wednesday night racing, which is kicking off this Wednesday. It's part of our adult program where folks come down, rent a boat. It's kind of like a pickup game of football or basketball. And they get on the boats, go out sailing, and skipper the boats or be crew. It's quite exciting, and there's a coach involved who does it. Runs from 6 p.m. every Wednesday until dusk. And then uh, we do boat charters and rentals. So all the boats here are available to rent. We get a lot of people to come out from New York City with their coolers, get off the train, get on the boats, and go out sailing for a half day or a full day. And uh, the fleet includes eight boats like this, the uh, Sonar 23, there's a J24, a Beneteau 36, and in the Caribbean we have a boat we use there in the winter time that's available for charter that's 43 foot that's in the U.S. Virgin Islands. So um, we cover you from starting out with small boats up to big boats, and you don't have to own a boat to get involved with sailing here in uh, Manhasset Bay. Now how do people locate you? Um, Google. Uh, <laughs> Website is probably where we get our most activity. Most of the people who do call us have visited the website first. We have an online reservation system that helps our customers clear our, our process of screening to be able to take a boat out as well. Okay, well, let's go take a look. All right. wind is crossing the boat and um, maneuvers. Okay. So for example, the maneuver that we're going to do now is called coming about. Coming about. And there's communication that takes place between the, the skipper or the helmsman and the crew. So I'm going to say prepare to come about. The crew is going to say ready. And then I'm going to say helm hard to lee, which means I'm turning the boat. Okay. Okay. Yes. Roy? Ready, sir. Okay, prepare to come about. Ready? Hard to lay. So we're turning. 
turning, the wind is crossing the boat. Wow! The mainsail comes over by itself. This is amazing. And you understand all of this? Absolutely. And what's a jib? The jib is the forward sail. Okay. This sail is the mainsail. Okay. And then each one of these colored ropes represents? The, these are multiple control lines. So for example, oh, oh first of all, yes. there's no such thing as a rope on a boat. I am so sorry. There are, <laughs> um, right, there are, there are sheets or lines. Okay. A sheet or halyards. A sheet is the main control for the sail. Kind of like a gas pedal. Bring the sails. Um, lines could be used for tying the the lines that we had just before when we tied the boat up to the dock. Uh -huh. That's the purpose of a line. Okay. Um, then there, there are multiple control lines on the sail. Um, they're more relevant if you're racing. Uh, so, but for purposes for cruising and doing what we're doing, we leave those lines alone. Now, how fast can a sailboat, in fact, go? A sailboat speed is dependent on the type of sailboat it is and the length of the boat. So, for example, if you're on a cruise, if this boat is doing, and I'll use miles per hour instead of knots, if this boat is doing six miles an hour on the boat, it's going to feel a lot faster than that. Uh, but on, you know, on the water, I mean, it's going to feel a lot faster than that. Um, a really high-tech racing sailboat, I've seen them go as fast as 14. Right. Wow. So what we're going to do is we're going to do execute another, another maneuver before we... Um, dock? Is that yeah, called yeah, docking? Uh, yeah, before we land on the dock. Okay. We're going to do what's called a jibe. Um, the command is pre prepare to jibe. I'll say jibe po. This sail, because we're turning the boat where the wind is behind us, uh -huh. it's going to come over really quick. Okay. So, But don't worry about it. Everybody's fine. Okay. Roy, are you ready? I am ready, pre sir. Prepare to jibe. Jibe po. I'm turning the boat. And watch the main. Boom. And there's the boom. Right. So this sail comes over by itself because it's sitting on a boom. Oh, I see. The jib needs a little bit of help. This up. metal bar is the boom. And it's called a boom because as, it, as, in the unlikely event that it hits your head, it goes <laughs> boom. It already hit my head before. <laughs> wow. When these boats are out racing, you know, the skippers will push the boat to the limit. But then what you do is you adjust your sails accordingly. You take pressure out of the sail. So like if I do this, I'm taking pressure out of the sail and you feel the boat, not only is it slowing down, but it's um, it's flattening out a little right, bit. Right, right, it's not as tilted. Right. I may be, by the way, I may be inclined because of the wind direction. It's very important to know where the wind is coming from. Uh -huh. And it's also very relevant in terms of how you, where you bring a boat to a dock. Okay. This boat does not have an engine, so I don't have the luxury of dropping the sails and using an engine. Okay. Um, so I may be in that dock over there, given that the wind is coming from over here, is perfect because I can sail the boat directly into the wind, into what's called the no sail zone, so there's no pressure in my sails. The sails are luffing, and I can bring this boat to a dead stop alongside that dock. Okay, so, so we are on beautiful Manhasset Bay, one of the most sought after places here in the town of North Hempstead as the destination. We're in Port Washington yeah, and we're sailing. Yeah.